decide to put the praline on the bottom so that it can hold the ice cream and the rhubarb stalks and then put the granita over the top and serve the jug of fizzy on the side of the plate. I'm really loving sending this dessert out. I love the theatre of it. It is a proud moment. I love the idea of a spider as a dessert. Oh, wow. So this is Billy's dessert. And look at this little touch of theatre at the table. Dylan rhubarb spider, dill ice cream, rhubarb, raspberry puree, roasted rhubarb. That looks amazing. It's absolutely a spider. I'm very excited. <laughs> you talk, I'm eating. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. That's so good. Absolutely sensational. Wow. A refreshing, mm. flavoursome yeah. um, textures, theatre. It's taken us to that little childhood moment where we've all experienced the spider, but it's brought it bang up to date in terms of what a modern dessert's all about. Get out! It's so hard in this moment to just kind of keep cracking on. There's a voice inside my head telling me that if I pull it together, I could potentially do OK with this dessert. I'm just going, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. Come on, Jessica, come yeah. on. Pumping out, doing a tremendous job. I played up the dessert and it looks exactly like it's supposed to. I'm really, really happy with it. Um, the little, like, tumble of crumble looks beautiful. Um, the domes look lovely. So, yeah, I'm really excited now. It just says grapefruit and popcorn. That looks amazing. Yeah, it does. Amazing. It's very pretty. I like that blush over the top of that chocolate. And I love the little crumble and the addition of popcorn. Just, Gee, just left it all up. She has come a long way in terms of her presentation. So is it, is it, is it parfait inside or is it mousse? It's parfait, oh. isn't it? Look at that. That's the bit that makes it special, isn't it? You expect it to be one thing and it turns into something different. Oh, you, you go. I'm, I wasn't going to eat it all, but now I'm going to eat it all. I love it. I really love it. Well, look at that. Look at that casing around a uh, beautiful dessert. It's thin, it's crisp. You know, it's got a lovely colour. That little popping candy is Heston-like and yummy. The negative I have is that little gel in the middle, as I can taste gelatine. I really like it. I think it's an excellent dessert. Um, two things I'm, I question. One is the density of the sponge. I think the sponge is a bit heavy for me. And the other thing I question is whether white chocolate, popcorn and grapefruit all belong together. This is George's dish and we've got um, mango sorbet, vanilla, yogurt parfait, macadamia and chilli praline with chilli salt and coriander. It smells amazing, it looks beautiful. But the hardest thing about eating this dish has been watching Georgia. You can see the pressure on the plate. Yeah. All of these little rochers or cornels should look shiny, amazing, and perfect. Then this doesn't seem that. Shall we taste?
get off my chest. You know what? This is my favourite dessert. I love it because I've got creamy, I've got icy, and I've got crunchy. That's got salt in it, a slight bit of chilli. That is beautiful. Loads of salt. There's loads of sugar in the crumb, um, but relieved by the sanus of the yogurt in the, in the, the parfait. Coriander just adds that little kind of Asian funkiness. That is yeah. so good. And that creamy parfait and then that refreshing sorbet is just like all together a very familiar combination and very, very, very Moorish. Like very, very Moorish. It's like that tub of ice cream you can't put down. Right, Billy, let's start with you. MasterChef is not just about coming in and meeting new friends and cooking great food. It's about the person that you come in and it's how you carry yourself. It's the legacies that you leave. And the entire country, I'm sure, looking on and going, wow, what an amazing woman. The four of us believe in you and we know that the food that you've been putting up in this competition so far, in the manner and the respectfulness that you've done it in, is a true indication of what an amazing woman you actually are. Thanks, Josh. We've loved watching you grow as a cook. And today, your lamb was my favourite savoury course. <laughs> All the memories of a Sunday country roast, but all the technique of a modern day cook. Your dessert combined the memories of childhood, <laughs> but with a thorough modern interpretation, the way we'd see it in any great restaurant right now. But even more, a little bit of theatre. And you know we <laughs> love theatre. <laughs> Both your dishes, we're free of negatives. And that is why you are in tomorrow's grand finale. Well done. Jessica, the awful truth is only one of you can join Billy in the grand finale. It comes down to the food you cook today. Those two very important dishes. Jessica, George might have loved Billy's main course, but for Gary and me, our favourite main course was that wonderful pork. <laughs> but on a day when there were so few negatives, we questioned both the elastic texture of the gel and also the weight of the sponge in your dessert. Georgia, there was so much going on on that main course. But everything was in balance. Sweet, salty, sour, creamy, crunchy. Excellent. But the presentation of your dessert that rushed couldn't help but look over and see that you were still plating up. Jessica and Billy had both finished service. That leaves us with the toughest decision we've had to make this season. Georgia, as we said at the beginning, 
that deliciousness in this competition always wins out. And that dessert was so, so delicious. And that's why you're in tomorrow's grand finale tomorrow, Georgia. Congratulations. I did enough. I'm in the grand finale. I don't know where to look. I don't know what to say. I feel like I'm going to throw up. This is amazing.